Hello my friends, my name is Darren Gertis and here are three big stories. So I've separated now between Daily Brief, which is an early edition just telling you here's what's going on today, and three big stories where I talk about three really big stories that are going to have long-term consequences. So I was following to see what was going on with Zeluzhny, there's no real movement there, uh, but I did stumble across this interesting article that this is a uh, Ukraine form, uh, Ukraine's defense industry, or I'm sorry, Ukraine's defense force Forces eliminated about 384,140 Russian invaders between February 24, 2022 and January 30th of 2024. Well, what does that mean? So there's 705 days between those two dates. And then if you take 384,140 divided by 705, you get an average of 544 Russians eliminated. That doesn't mean killed. That means killed and wounded off the battlefield each day. And then if you look at 24 days between now and February 24th, that's another 13,000, but that's at 555. And we've been at like 7, 000, uh, 700 to 1,000 each day. So it's it's very likely. And so if you just go to 555, that's you're almost at 400,000. And you're probably going to pass 400,000 Russian casualties by the time we get to February 24th, that's just astounding. I don't think Putin was thinking that this was even possible, but this is where we are. Okay, at the same time, what's going on in Ukraine? Ukraine rises to place 104th in the Transparency, Inter Transparency International Corruption Perceptions Index. Well, that doesn't sound great, but it's actually significant movement from 116 to 104. To look at the chart, let's just understand here that the United States is at 24th place. Right, the United States is at 24, United Kingdom is at 20. Okay, that's just one to 180. Ukraine has gone from 116 to 104, so it is now at 104. It's just past Bosnia and Dominican Republic and Egypt, Nepal, Panama, Sierra Leone, Thailand, Ecuador, Indonesia, Malawi, Philippines, Sri Lanka, and Turkey, where it's gone from 116 down to 104. Where is Russia? Well, Russia is down at 141 one out of 180 nations in corruption. And it, it, it's, it's, it's even worse than that because they were in the last one, this was a video I did about three months ago talking about this, and it, it's just, it's astonishing. They went from 137, which is where they were three months ago, to 141. But yet the narrative is that Ukraine's corrupt. Okay, final last article, and that is really interesting. Ukraine's attacks within Russia challenge Putin's war narrative. They call it a special mil military operation because there's nothing to see here. But yet, yeah. Ukraine keeps attacking the, the terminal on the Black Sea, the oil refineries, all kinds of things have just really monkeyed with Putin's narrative that there's really nothing to see here. And that's a big story because it's going to have a significant impact on him in the presidential election. Yes, he'll win the presidential election. I don't doubt that that's going to happen, but it's really giving him a hard time. Okay, those are the three big stories for today. Thank you for your time and thank you for being the kind of person that cares about Ukraine.